Hi, I'm Anna, a PhD student at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I research and develop simple technologies to assist in food fortification programs in Dr. Juan Andrade's Global Nutrition Lab. You may not realize it, but many of the common foods we eat every day are fortified with added micronutrients for your health. What is food fortification? It is the addition of micronutrients to foods in an attempt to combat nutritional deficiencies. Food fortification has been around in the United States since we first began adding iodine to salt in the 20s. Since then, we've began adding B vitamins to flowers, vitamins A and D to milk, and calcium to fruit juices. Because of this, we don't frequently have to think about the micronutrients we are consuming on a daily basis. We are likely getting them. Without these essential micronutrients in our food supply, there would be many more cases of deficiency diseases such as night blindness, pellagra, or rickets. However, this isn't the case everywhere. In lesser developed regions of the world, nutritional diseases persist. It's estimated that 3 million children die every year from undernutrition, and globally 22.9% of children are stunted, and 7.7% of children are wasted. So why can't we simply fortify foods in other parts of the world? A successful food fortification strategy requires close evaluation using expensive equipment operated by a highly trained chemist. In my PhD thesis, I develop sensors according to the World Health Organization's assured guidelines for technology in low-income countries to do the same but at a lower cost. These sensors can quantify micronutrient presence such that anyone can monitor the micronutrient content in foods. Furthermore, they can be used to facilitate countrywide nutrition initiatives to monitor compliance and quality. With just a small sample of the food in dilute acid, a piece of reactive paper, and a smartphone with a camera, we are able to produce a color change on the paper that can be detected by the smartphone. Then, an application that interfaces with the smartphone camera can tell the food processor whether the fortified sample was under or over fortified, allowing for the processor to adjust as necessary. I believe that sensor technologies can fill the gap that many small-scale food processors are facing. In return, this will lead to a healthier population with a brighter future. I'm excited to bridge technology innovation with nutrition security for my PhD dissertation. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in contacting me.